Alright guys, so you guys want to know how to build a volume profile or market profile here in Thinkorswim. Uh, it's not a market profile, but the closest we can get is a volume profile. Um, and I'll show you how, guys how to do that. Um, so my chart that's open right now is under chart tabs and charts. I also use flexible grid, but mainly to trade the uh, ES because I have other indicators uh, such as a tick, advanced decline, and uh, volume base there but I use the regular chart here for oil and my volume profile built here which is a three hour base so what you want to do is go over here to the right top right and click studies and edit studies then I'll open this edit studies and strategies you go over to your left and type in volume profile and then you can double click it it'll bring it over here to the right <clears throat> I already have one built so I'll go ahead and either double click it or click the gear icon either way or open up the next window which is your volume profile customizing and the only two things I really um, mess with that creates the volume profile that you see on my charts is hour uh, which is under time per profile by default it's probably on chart so change it to hour and then multiplier to three so this just tells you um, here I'll even open up the little question mark here defines the number of periods to calculate the volume profile and note that the setting is ignored if the time per profile input is set to chart so if it's chart it won't matter but since we're doing hour it'll define the number of hours right uh, which we which I set for three okay so hours and three um, expansion no uh, I believe if you put expansion and yes, it'll all kind of congregate to one side. Uh, I can even show you real quick. Let's see. Yep, so it just uh, puts it all on to the right side like that. What you want to do is actually see it every three hours. So expansion, no. <clears throat> and uh, let's see what else we got here. Profiles, that, it, it, by default, it gives you a, a number, a thousand here. Um, just tells you how many profiles it will build in, in a chart maximum. Um, point of control, I put no. Um, value area, I, I put in yes. The value area percentage, I put it up uh, or down to 75% and opacity to zero. Uh, and that's where you get um, the look that you have here. So by default, a lot of this stuff might look a little bit different because, let's see, let's go to yes here. And then you know, just get a little <clears throat> a red line there to show you where the volume profile is. But I mean, we kind of already know where that's at um, without the numbers being highlighted, which is in the red. Um, <clears throat> and then everything else, I mean, uh, opacity I put down because if you start putting opacity up, <clears throat> just for example, I'll show you real quick. Just a lot of distractions. So. What I want to do is take all that out, <clears throat> and that's why I have opacity down to zero. And then that's pretty much it. <clears throat> so to go to summarize again, time per profile, you want to put hour, multiplier three for every three hours. Uh, you can mess with it depending on how you guys trade a market profile or volume profile. <clears throat> Expansion, no. Really, these are the three key areas. I said two earlier, but these are the three key areas. And then <clears throat> opacity, I would put this down to zero. So you just have a cleaner chart. All right, guys. And then with that, you just press OK. <clears throat> what you can do over here on the bottom on the plots as well is just, um, <clears throat> I believe what I did was uh, for all of these, I put the draw as and I, and I have these dashed lines. So <clears throat> it breaks it up every three hour period. So I can see clearly where it changes in the next three hours. Uh, for instance, if you put it up as a line, I think um, it'll, it'll just kind of plot and there's no break. It just keeps going as one line. And you could do that for all the other ones like profile high, profile low, volume area high, and volume area low. And if you do that, they're all connect. So I like it to look like it does right now and that's why I have that set like that and the volume area high and volume area low which is the most important part for me um, I put the width as on three 
the rest of them are one, right? So they're a lot smaller. So on the volume area, high VA, high and VA low, I put a little bit thicker line there, so I can kind of uh, see that also clear right there, and right there. So you got your low volume area and high volume area right there. So that's how you set the volume area or market profile, or as close as we can to market profile using the volume profile settings in Thinkorswim. So that's how you do it, guys. I uh, hope you were able to benefit from the video and uh, talk to you guys soon.